Tonight, picks from our archive. Hi, I'm Debbie. First up, Barbados severs its colonial links with the British monarchy, whilst also making its most famous face a national hero. In both cases, Jamaica lagging behind its Caribbean neighbor. Oh, na, na. What's my name? It's official. Pop superstar Rihanna also now a national hero. The announcement coming as her home island of Barbados ditched the Queen in favor of a president. The switchover from monarchy to republic, another headlines grabbing move by the island's prime minister. Mia Motley, something of a rising star herself, whose stirring call for action at the climate summit in Glasgow was applauded around the world. Code red to the G7 countries. Code red, code red to the G20. Her follow-up step in shifting Barbados's historic relationship with Britain and elevating Rihanna to national hero status also resonating here in Jamaica. Many now asking, if Rihanna can be a national hero, why can't Bob Marley? World virus, yes, Let's face it, Bob's in a league of his own. But others countering, does he fit the bill? Sun has shine, but things not bright. Do a pot of wild bickle not enough. Or Miss Lou, another cultural icon for that matter. And who gets to decide? Popular will or not so popular politicians who like to reward their own and name highways after themselves? What do you think? Yeah, man, if you got money and him, I forbid the next national era. I swear, Bob Marley said. But if I, if I go worldwide and the people that talk about you and the people that love you and rate you, for me, yeah, that's the badness though. Just do something great for your country. Just be recognized by the masses out there and you're a national hero. Simple. How many national heroes can you name? None, to be honest with you. <laughs> Just get in. I think Miss Lou should get it before even Bob Marley, to be honest. Today you're a hero and tomorrow it's like you never do nothing at all. Remember, said Bob Marley a legend, you know, so he more fit fit. Miss Lou, I like a comedy woman. You see him both him young to the business, so him not real. Nobody watch him look a goal them here. Bob Marley more than set goal. Now respect goes out to you see him both, because I don't mean, take back that talk there. But Bob Marley, they bought before you see him both and set the trend before you see him both. Well, you see him both and for us, wait till film time come. Because it's Bob Marley time now and him deserve it. Enough youth where love school and go college right now is a Bob Marley thing. Enough youth where busting at the music thing and can help him family and him community and him country at large is because of Bob Marley. When a man can make you be confident in yourself, just like Marcus Garvey, then he's a man where you have to give ratings and him not make money be. Fame game is equality the man I talk about. So him have to be a national hero. People are talking about all George William Garden, Buster Monty, and Norman Mali. And the color of them complexion get them where they be. And I just being truthful is it. The color. And it's still right, right now in the workplace. The prettier your ear be and the clearer your skin be, you go and get to get ahead. If other country are building people, why we can't build one Jamaican? And that's a world of back right now. We have to build one. But we see. The way in which we can build one of our own, go through and build up one of our own, because we'll be up there, you know, with the far back ocean that we up there, you know, Jamaica, this is you know, the land of food and water, where we have no place to have, and then find out so them progressive and progress for that we. Once they meet the criteria for it, nothing wrong with that. Excellent service and commitment to your country, you understand? I think they can consider it. If there are criteria for becoming a national hero, what are they? For me, a hero is one who really makes a personal sacrifice, serious one, usually uh, at the risk of death or close, for the purpose or cause bigger than himself or herself. You have to decide that you see this cause and you want to pursue it and you will risk life and limb to do it. Based on that criteria, should, as some have suggested, Bob Marley be a national hero? I don't think you need to decide whether
he fits those criteria. I think what needs to happen is that the country needs to determine a set of criteria and then say, look, we think that Bob Marley is able to satisfy those conditions. But based on what you just said, he doesn't meet your standard. No, I wouldn't say he doesn't meet my standard. I'm saying that the, the classic definition of hero, that's what it is. Now, there is no question about Bob Marley's greatness. And so if you want to use greatness as a substitute for heroism, then fine. And a number of countries have been doing that. Barbados certainly has done that in terms of Garfield Sobers, in terms of Rihanna. These are people who have not really satisfied the condition of putting life on the line, but these are people who have brought great value to their country because of their stature. And you know, Bob Marley, if you're talking about stature, he's basically incomparable. Marley incomparable works, but the Bayesians also taking the lead and have already made their decision on the bigger question, queen or president. The thought is that Jamaica is now following rather than leading, and that is supposed to be an unusual position for us in the Caribbean. But then Mia Markley is a bright spark, and she made, she made a lot of heads turn at the climate summit in the UK. Well, I've always known Mia Motley, even before she went into government, to be somebody who is extremely smart, um, who has a granular feel of issues. So it's not surprising that she's going to take the lead in a lot of these issues. But if you were a betting man, would you bet on Bob Marley being added to the pantheon of national heroes in Jamaica if we don't have enough? I think that eventually Bob is going to be listed officially among the national heroes. He's a national hero already. I mean, in terms of he's a folk hero. People love him. He, he is perhaps the most celebrated Jamaican. And so I think, you know, in, in the hearts of the people, it's there. I think that if anything, they're going to want to see it official. And, you know, a savvy politician will eventually decide that, okay, I can milk this for all it's worth and, and do it. <laughs>